This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to the channel for another hut episode. Now, the big thing is I've been away for a few days, uh, almost a week, week and a half. I don't know what it's been at this point, I'm trying to keep everything up here sharp. But what ends up happening when I leave is I miss you guys. I miss doing the videos. I miss having a little bit of fun, right? Well, I hope you've missed me, and I hope you're ready for hopefully a good fun pack opening today. The Digital 6 stuff, totally didn't cover that, totally really wasn't interested in it to be, in all honesty. Big thing, right now the Blackhawks alumni out, Tony Esposito, Dennis Savard, and Steve Thomas. Nice, great cards to pull, really would love to pull that Tony Esposito. Dennis Savard kind of looks weaker, even though he does have a very nice shooting stat and a passing, well, quick, well, I don't even know what that, uh, frigate! Bring it. We're not worrying about that. We're going to rip packs. Let's quickly see what I sold. I think it was two more silver cards. It's kind of making sure I'm keeping up with the inventory, right? Yeah, you know what? Actually, we just sold Chris Letang for 7,500 and the Austria logo for 500. Guys, if you're looking for uh, mid-range flips, the Austria logo is not actually a bad one, so definitely go get yourself some of that. But what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go get ourselves a choice pack. Yes, like I said, the player's choice pack. This choice pack allows you to pick 16 items from a pool of 24 player items over four selection rounds. Choose from a pool of guaranteed NHL players in round number four. Yes, sir. Okay, here's the thing. 77 plus card, guaranteed. 83 plus card, 66%. 85 plus card, 32%. Alumni players, like I said, we're looking for Stan, not Stan Makita, Tony Esposito and the other dude, Steve Thomas and whoever's in the middle. 27% for the alumni and 14% for a team of the week. Hold on. What did I forget to mention? I forgot to mention who the team of the week is. That is my big forget. Bo Horvat, right now still the prime time. Yes, I'm recording on Monday. I should be recording Tuesday, but I don't care. We're going after Bo Horvat and some of these cards because they're going to be exclusive as of tomorrow, right? 88 Brett uh, Burns, 85 Joe Thornton, 83 Zach Parise. Those would be nice, decent cards to pull mid-range. And these are the two you got to gun up for right now. 87, Stammer, and Cooch. The reason being, well, let me tell you as much about it as I know. 200,000 coins each. I have 183,000 coins. Does that not make sense that I would very, very well be able to up my coin total just crazily? So what we're going to do is we're going to go open up the choice pack first. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling that's a stupid, stupid move. But I want to open the choice pack first because this, guys, is my first 100,000 choice pack of the year. So you're watching a Dolany TV first in NHL 19. Shall we go get it? Yes, we shall. So purchase the pack. And let's go see what we get ourselves in round number one. Round number one is going to be 72, 69, Greg Chase, who is a former Oilers prospect. And you see quite a few guys, so we'll pick... Four over this round. Let's go with 69, 69, 72, and a 71. Dragon Umersevic. Umersevic? I don't even know how to pronounce that. So we'll confirm those picks. And yes, we want those as our cards. So now becomes the question, what's coming up next? 78, Kasperi Kapanen, all right. Anthony Duclair, Andrew Nielsen, Radek Faxa, Dan Girardi, and Brock McGinn. So two 79s. 278s, that's a decent first gold round. I will take it. That's huge. That's awesome. All right. Picks made. Yes, verify selection. Now, let's get right into it. What are we going to find ourselves? Round number three, another gold. Another gold. Come on. There we go. go oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, boys. The freight train himself, Dustin Mufflin. And can we get another gold rare? Yes, we do. Tyler Myers, two Winnipeg Blue Liners coming up clutch in round number three. Okay, we got an 83 plus. That scares me, because that was 66%. And now it becomes the question, what are we gonna get in round number four? Can we get something half as good? 76, 76 Brett Kulak, 79 Alex Stender Kerfoot, Yanni Gord, Patrick Hornquist. Hmm, absolutely stumped. That sucks big time. I mean, lots of value there for sure. Kerfoot, Gord. Hornquist, and who do you go with? You go with Van Riemersdijk? Yeah, you have to. Okay, D Dustin Bufflin, I thought we were off to a hot start, that's for sure, but you see, 
at least we've got all those gold cards that will build up the bank quickly and allow me to flip again like 7400 quick sell value yeah that's going to have some good value in terms of players being able to sell considering what i have four or five gold rares that's right there about five twenty thousand that's not bad so we're not opening these we are going down to the gold plus gold essentials the reason i say gold essentials is because what i pulled was eric carlson 69,000. we have 84,000, which will pretty much give us five packs so let's go see what we can get ourselves in these packs here a 64 come on we need something huge 61 that's not going to help uh healing's not going to help jacob mcdonald's not going to help still looking for a gold player so you got to hope it happens eventually 69 oh is this the one pack where we don't get a gold player i think it's going to be unless we get something absolutely crazy and ryan fitzgerald's the gold player right there come on need one more and nothing happening there so that's unfortunate we'll send those contracts to the collection jerseys to the collection and get everything except for the coaches and the healing into my collection and then we'll be good as gold so there we go so only one gold that's a pretty pretty rough pack 500 quick sell wish it was more but it is not and we carry on to pack number two first choice pack of the year was an absolute dud dustin bufflin not not too bad dustin bufflin is a stud for sure in this game problem is if he was faster he would be probably an 87 and absolutely unreal peter sakura i didn't even know peter sakura was still playing hockey at this point he's 39 he's a former edmonton oiler in the old 6 07 season i believe brian fiddler who was uh pretty instrumental early on and then you've got a couple of bronze nothing happening here come on now gotta bite something big and Matias Rotolo, we're gonna have to switch up the method for the next pack because this is just not working whatsoever. Samuel Montebote and nothing, not a single gold player in this gold essentials pack. I knew it was too good to be true when I was pulling all those cards earlier on in my pre-order pack. Should have saved them for you guys because this has been a brutal, brutal pack opening for sure. And two coaches and healing, there we go. So let's send to collections. And actually, sorry, I forgot. Sakura is indeed a gold player. So I guess there's your gold common, whatever. Got three packs to go. I can't complain too much. We're gonna get, hit something yet. We're gonna hit something. So I'm gonna go stat check method here. Once we get our first player, nothing happening there. All right, Alex Dosti, you start us off. Going backwards, L2. Johan Larson, all right, that's our first gold. Dylan Dubé, well, Dylan Dubé looking pretty sharp. 68 overall for the Kelowna Rockets. I have his team of the week just in case. Uh, Matthew Pekka, 72 silver rare. And Zach Trotman for, who does he play for? The Wilkesbury Scranton. Penguins, nothing. Bronze, and there you go. We're back to Alex Dosti. So now becomes the question, what else do we have hiding in this pack? Hopefully... A collectible or two gold collectible would save us here logo titan no no not happening i've pulled one gold collectible all year and i still have yet to be able to do much with them so two gold rare players this time that at least saves us a little bit and only two healing so let's go quick sell actually three healing pardon me let's go quick sell all that and get ourselves two more packs I'm gonna blow it up and I'm just gonna see everything right off the bat on this one. Gotta hope, gotta pray. And okay, right off the start, good start. Jared McCann, Minnesota Wild Rink. Those go for at least 800 coins. What do we got going down the list? Reading Royals, come on now. 83 air neck lad. All right, 83 air neck lad. Not a bad pull. That saves us a little bit, that's for sure. It's okay. Gold rare, first gold rare out of the gold essentials packs. That's. Kind of disappointing but your luck can only run so much correct that is correct so we get two gold players one gold rare one common both from the florida panthers so same thing with that dustin bufflin tyler myers business right not exactly what you'd hope for but not exactly the worst case scenario now single row item again can i go backwards i cannot i should know that by now bob adams johan larson again Jason McKay, come on, got to get something big here, boys, got to get something big. Is it going to happen? I don't feel like it's happening. James Melindy, 
It's gonna come down to the last card of the pack, I feel, and... Ain't happening. Ain't friggin' happening, boys. Wasn't meant to be. Dustin Bufflin and Aaron Eckblad are best pulls in these packs. That is disappointing. I definitely should have probably went with a gold plus pack. Maybe it would have been a better move. No, nope, don't need the coach. Don't need the coach. What am I doing? Uh, need the contract, though. Huh. Hit the button too quickly. So there we go. Let's send all to collection, and that will give us just shy of... 15,000 coins so a tough tough pack opening but guys that at least sets us up with lots of cards to get back to another pack opening next time out i'm tyson this has been doll any tv thank you so much for tuning in to my first choice pack of the year i will catch you guys in the next one